Good morning. This is the 12th of August, and this is Patsy's kids. They are six weeks and one day old today. So they got their first puppy shot. This is the green collar puppy. This is the red collar Merle puppy. This is the little yellow collared male puppy. This is the black and white with the orange collar puppy and that one had the yellow. And this is the blue Merle female with the blue collar. All right, people, get in there. So these guys are doing super good. We decided today to give them their cottage cheese and eggs while you guys were watching so you could see what they have for breakfast. Come on guys, here's your bowl. Come on. You better get in here, they're already lapping it up. There we go. Alright. So we give them cottage cheese with raw eggs in it. Um, we actually blend the eggs up in a blender so it makes it kind of like a smoothie. And then we put cottage cheese in it or Dan and yogurt. Uh, yogurt is super good for them. I give them the plain. I don't give them any of the fancy stuff. They just get plain yogurt. Uh, this morning they just got cottage cheese with eggs. We didn't do the yogurt this morning. So um, they get this every day. Not always in the morning. Sometimes in the afternoon when everything's finished then we'll go around and do it. Uh, at this age, we take mom away because I don't want mom to eat their food, and mom will probably actually bite them over this food. Um, moms get to where, when they're this old, Patsy's already starting to snap at them. So, Patsy is now away from them, except for at night, and that's not going to last too long, but um, it makes it much easier for them to... Um, at this age, not to be with mom because of food and things when the mom start getting grouchy with them. But they are doing great. They know how to use a dog door. They go down three sets of steps to go out and potty. They run back inside so they can sleep inside and their uh, food's inside. They're eating totally dry dog food except for their uh, once a day treat. And sometimes we give them raw hamburger. Um, not always as a meal, but more as a treat. And uh, so this way they get lots and lots of extra protein, extra calcium, and it's super good for them. They're making a quick, quick fix of that pretty quickly. They don't miss any, any meals, that's for sure. You guys, there's a big spot of it on the other side that nobody's spotted yet, and they think they're out. Uh, these guys, when you get your puppies, uh, I have, and I forgot on the other video, Everybody wants to know what they've had for shots, what they have to tell their vet. You don't have to worry about that because you get a complete filled out health card. So on that health card will be everything we've done to this puppy. He said, oh wait, there's more here. Nope, this is... Nope, I don't need it. Um, hmm, I should move that little one around. They are just cleaning that bowl like crazy. Come here, there's more over here on this side. Yeah, this guy didn't get all his cleaned up. Come here. You're the one that's hunting. Here, look over here. There, there's more over there. The nice thing with the way we feed is they only eat till they're full and then they walk away. They don't eat too much. And they're getting so cute at this age. They want to play. They're bouncy. They're into everything. Um, they're just really super cute at this age. And by the time you see this, you'll have seen their new photos. Um, so they're right on course for everything and they're doing super good. When they come in we'll work on no bark, no bite, and no lick and we'll also tell you how we do that and how to continue it when they go home. It's really important not to let them chew on you, especially if you have kids. They're going to want to pick a pecking order and see where they fall with those kids and if they chew on your kids they're going to be your nightmare. So uh, it's important that you do not let them chew on your hands. If you don't like licking, you can stop that in the first day. Um, so it's not something you have to tolerate. You can absolutely stop the habit. Well, they're about made quick of a cleanup of that. These guys have been getting a bath every week. They've been getting their toenails trimmed every week. Um, 
you will be amazed how quick their toenails grow once you get them home. Uh, they get very sharp in the, every about every seven to eight days. They'll get super sharp on the tips. So we do cut toenails every week. Um, if you ever hear your dog clicking on the floor when it walks, it's way too long. They are past being cut. All right, let me clean this up because they don't need to keep walking and licking in it. Can I have this bowl? Thank you very much. They go, where did you put it? <laughs> uh, golly, if you have not booked in a puppy pickup with me, please do so. Uh, text me is the best way to get me. Um, I'll be glad to text you back and let you know what I've got available. I can tell you right now that the first week of September on the 6th is completely full. They're being spayed and neutered on the 4th. They can start going home on the 5th. Um, I have a, one or two spots available yet on Sunday, and then I have that whole next week available. This, the 13th is already filling up. Um, so if you please get a hold of me if we're shipping to you please kind of text me and let me know what day you'd like to ship on so I can get puppies booked if we haven't already spoken uh, even if we have text me and remind me um, with my schedule for the next two weeks it's going to be kind of crazy I'm also going to send everybody an email uh, this week if you have not gotten your videos and your um, vitamin information please let me know that also so I can get that out to you before Monday. And um, other than that, everybody's doing great. No issues with anybody. Um, coats on these guys are lovely. They're super thick. Let's see if I can sit down. They're going to watch them. My husband's moving the truck and trailer, so that's not going to help. Oh, come here, Fred. I see you. Come here. Come here. hiding under my leg. This is the bloomer with the... No, don't give me a bath. No. <laughs> this is the bloomer with the red collar. Really, really nice coat. You're just back here chewing on my shirt. Yes, you are. Come up here. Come up here. Uh, got a messy face from breakfast, that's for sure. He's doing really good. You're bad. You're bad. Yes, you're bad. Alright, this is the yellow puppy with the yellow collar. <laughs> go away and uh, he's really doing good he's really little we, you're just an ornery pistol he is super super soft coat just nice curls coming just a nice little squirt aren't you you are a little peabody alright let me set you down come here oh you're over here watching everybody this is the one the black and white with the orange ouch that's my arm you just bit <laughs> get over here uh, he's got the orange, bright neon orange collar. Super pretty coat, just so thick and nice. This is just the nicest litter. Uh, Personality-wise, on these guys are really good. They're just happy little people. They're different out here today because they're like not used to where they're at. But uh, everybody's doing really good. I know, I see ya. It's a good girl. No, don't lick my shoes. Get that. <laughs> uh, each week they get older, they get ornerier, that's for sure. And it's funny, when they come in the house, they really change because they aren't mommified anymore. Mommy doesn't baby them. Uh, they become very, very outgoing. They get used to the TVs, the garage doors opening. Um... They're kind of in the mix. Ouch, you little snot. You're not going to do that when you get in the house. No, you're not. When they're out here, we don't really, we're not really tough on them. We leave them with mom, let mom teach them. They play with mom and chew on mom. And if mom doesn't like it, mom will bite them. 
So when they come in the house, we don't bite them, but we bop them. And I bop them in the nose and tell them no lick. Uh, doesn't take them long to learn. Usually the first two days and they don't do it anymore. But he's used to playing with his siblings and mom. and So he has no rules and limitations right now. So his life will change here in the next week. So other than that, they're doing good. I hope you enjoyed their new photos. Get it. Get it. Um, if you have questions, please feel free to text me. It's the easiest right now um, to text me starting on Monday. And uh, if you have any questions, please give me a call this week. And I'll be glad to answer anything I can or book you in for a pickup time or let me know about shipping. Um, and I'll be glad to get that set up for you. So have a great one. I hope you enjoyed their video. I hope you enjoyed watching them get to play with with everybody. And uh, you're bound you're going to lay under my leg, aren't you? So have a good one, and we'll talk to you soon.